Hi, I'm Francois. Let's play World of Horror. In case you've never heard of it, it's something of a cross between a roguelike and a single-player board game. I'm sure you'll see what I mean. It's also quite openly an homage to Junji Ito's oeuvre. If that name means anything to you, you will know to expect some potent body horror. It's in there. Let that be a warning. Now, I've seen this played a bit, but I've never played myself. I do not play horror games, I also do not make video let's plays. I'm not sure how I got here, to be honest, so... Let's see how it goes. Now we have a choice between 1-bit and 2-bit graphics. 1-bit is obviously black and white, and 2-bit has a couple more shades. We'll I think the 2-bit is a little easier on the eyes, so let's pick that one. Now, yes, that is in fact my first time playing, so let's go with the tutorial. The spine-chilling story of school scissors. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Rogue figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells in your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you've finally arrived in the doomed town. Okay, so... This is a small slice of a quote-unquote full campaign. So we have... We already have a spell to start with, which is... Unexpected cauterize. See, this is already gross. Can't be helped, I guess. Um, plus two stamina, one time only. So we can use it to heal stamina, which is a uh, physical hit points. Or we can forget the spell to gain one reason, which is sanity points, basically. We'll hang on to it. We're fine. We're probably going to stay fine. This is good. So, uh, the story so far. You've been following this weird cult for weeks now. Barely surviving the encounter with a skin hack at the nursery, it's a race against time, and you can't rest until our town is safe. Uh, we will turn the combat tutorial on and start the mystery. Fine trading story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it, a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook for the cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? Nothing, right? We're fine. We'll be fine. And we'll keep being fine while we investigate this mystery. The school is eerily quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first a drawing of an eldritch sigil, and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. Now, this is not immediately obvious, but our options to continue investigating are these four little buttons here, so... 
Our storage, exploring the school, performing the ritual, not yet, and check out the school locker. So, well, let's check out what we have. The diary. Fair enough. Now, it's in our inventory here. Uh, okay, the, the, the crossed out one. A strange tall woman has been following me all day. I must hurry up. Okay. This sickle can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. Mary is acting strange. Oh, Maru. Maru. Not Mary. Maru. It's Japanese. Right. Maru is acting strange. I need to talk with her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow I will try to perform the ritual. Well, we can see how that worked out for him. Yeah. Uh, lockers then. That makes sense. We're looking for, you know, candles. Okay, that's the symbol for Lucifer. Why not? We found a new item, a wooden bat. Oh, it's it's there, okay. Learned strength weapon, two-handed, slightly dusty. Oh, better than nothing. Whoa. Okay, sure, somebody left their socks in there for too long. Need a tiny key to open this locker. No. Uh... And we're back. Exploring the school, then. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Minus one stamina. Neat. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. Agreed. In the schoolyard now. You are stopped by a girl you haven't seen in months. But how could you? She died in an accident. Oh jeez. I don't think her eyes are closed. These are... No pupils. No teeth. Sure. Okay, combat tutorial. During each turn you'll build a sequence of attacks and moves from the action ring. B. That's... This is, okay. Once you fill the sequence bar, press the launch sequence button to finish your turn. Okay. Fill the combat sequence with combat moves and click, okay, right click. So, kick. Or, we have a bat, but we can only kick. Sequence of actions. What's this? Okay, this is the only one available, fair enough. This must be because it's a, t that it's a tutorial, so it doesn't know we have a bat yet. Okay, a few times, it fits. It costs 55 and there are 200 prime units. You attack with the launch sequence. Hmm. Okay, so we kick twice, did four damage, and she scratched us. Now I know. Now when the creature, in combat, when the creature attacks us, it does the damage marked here, so we lost one of all, which is to say one stamina and one reason, which is, okay. And the power is sort of their evasion chance, I think. Now, support actions. With time, you will discover new combat moves available through the action filter. But first, you need a weapon. Find and choose an action called Look for Improvised Weapon. This little branch here. Uh, what else? Wise an ally. Combat skill. Okay, we, we can trade experience to raise hit chance. Or something that we need to be in more trouble to use then we use the rest to attack with our wooden bat. Sure. Okay. We found a branch that we are not going to use. 
and we hit her for 4 damage. She scratched us. We're still fine. Now I can equip this branch. I don't think that's smart. It's, I think it's faster than the bat, but hurts for less. Well, it wants us to equip it. Let's try. Anyway. Or can I just equip the bat again? No time. Okay. Must be only once per turn, I guess. So let's... Um, it for that branch. Oh, more options. Can spend time to increase chance to hit. We can spend time to go and see a hit. Or kick back, strong attack. Let's try the attack boost. Once and then. Hmm. Two regular attacks and. A punch. No. Well, let's try it this way then. Okay, she bit us. But I think we can end this now. Right, I'm going to. Guarantee a hit and then do the strong attack, which will do 4 damage. And finish her. Wait, what's that? Pick it up. Occult Diary. I can use it to reduce Doom by 3%. Now, Doom is not a factor yet, I think. Wait, well, it, it's up here, it's at 2%. But since it's a tutorial, I don't think it'll get to 100. To a 100. Right. Uh, for later then. Resolve combat. In 7 experience. You found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that a blessed shark was left in the pool. You must hurry and find it. The pool then. We can now peek outside as well. Why not? Open the door, click on the handle, and drag the mouse with the mouse button pressed. Oh gee. Well. Maybe not. Oof. Hmm. Okay, sure. Oh, it's not gonna... You know what, let's move on. Explore school. You enter the damp smelling sport wing. You notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Could it be what you were looking for? Enter the water. You enter the pool and start swimming towards the backpack. Suddenly the water turns murky and you realize you're not alone in the pool. Prepare for combat. A bloated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. Yeah. Loaded teacher, yeah. That. Yeah, that's a good way to describe that. So his damage is two stamina, and he has less power than the stalker. Can I equip the bat? No. Should have done that before. Okay. Well. With an attack boost. And one basic attack and one strong attack. Oh, wait, I have time to make a second attack boost. Miss hit. Dude, what are you doing? Loaded <laughs> teacher disappears underwater. Um. That's not good. Can I defend? Defensive actions, right. Run away. Meditate. Regain one return to stamina, no. Brace for impact. Lowers incoming damage by half. No special attacks, that sounds good. On dodge. Drastically lowers the hit chance for the enemy. Um. Now brace is strength based and dodge is dexterity based. 
how strength is I by two points. So that's brace for impact of whatever's coming next and get it in a couple of hits if we can. Just the one. Or He forces pieces of he forces pieces of his rancid meat into your mouth. You know I could have gone my whole day without reading that. Mm. He has nine hit points. He can finish this in three hits. Uh. No, I'll try again. Two attack boosts, light and heavy. Okay. This appears underwater again, but we can finish this. Fair attack. Hit, hit. Alright. Oh, looking a little messed up here. That's encouraging. Resolve combat. You found blessed chalk, which you can use to draw the seagull in your ritual. You copy the signal as best you can on the blackboard. Hopefully, it'll be enough. Oh, let's get that bat on. Right. Wait. Now, the signal is here. We can redraw it with these buttons. Let's see. Let's look at the diary. Is that what it's like? Just a plain circle with the seven point star. Looks right. Oh. I think it will find the first time. Ah, uh, was it? Okay, I'm gonna check again. It, it has a little circle on the left there, so... Yep, that must be right. Let's... Now, oh, we could still explore the school, but we have what we need. Oh no! We, we forgot. We didn't find the holy candles. So... Yeah, exploring then. Park guest. What the... What was that? Oh jeez! Oh man! <laughs> yeah, that was telegraphed, but it still got me. Uh, the sound of scissors is getting louder, you must hurry. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. I want to. Let's investigate further. Oh. See, that's how much of a wimp I am. This is funny, but I'm spooked. Uh, a tall woman with an, unset with an unsettling face and twitching lips stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? Uh, yeah, sure. Lock check, failure. Great. The creepy substitute teacher hands you dusty old biological specimens, the rancid smell. The rancid smell of formula almost makes you drop the jar. Should fetus have so many legs? Minus two stamina. You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for, for, the, for the ritual. Let's hit it then. Wait, what's that? Jeez. Uh, it's me. The seagull and holy candles don't seem to have any effect on the horrible monsters. Had you drawn it wrong? I must have. Frozen in fear, you watch as the twitching horror gets closer and closer. It raises its enormous scissors and croaks. Am I beautiful? Uh, maybe not my type. Prepare for combat. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. 
my beautiful. Oh, jeez. 30 HP, 32 power, minus 2 all damage. We have 3 rounds to beat her. Unless we defend. 30 HP, that's, that's a lot. I think that ritual would have helped if I hadn't screwed it up. Hmm. Now, if we do... With strong attacks, we can do 12 damage per round. That's, that's our only chance, I think. Let's go for it. We can prepare. Alright. Missed. Minus 6. Ooh. Hmm. Try again. Getting stabbed, that's alright. Um, two stab now. Wasn't there? Desperate struggle. Doubles all damage dealt during this turn. Why not? Oh. We can end this. Nope, two misses. Frozen in fear, you watch as she gets closer. Her sharp scissors are slowly cutting through your cheeks as she asks you, Am I beautiful? <clears throat> Better work on your personality. You've perished, cause of death, killed by the scissor woman. Your bleed through lasted 20, 33 seconds. In this run, you didn't complete any mystery, you saw five new events, encountered three new enemies, and no achievements. Well, that's above par for the course. And we're back to the start. So there you have it, that was the tutorial. Now as I understand it, in the actual campaign, this story of school scissors can be one of many mysteries that can be investigated in sequence, so I'm not gonna do the tutorial again to win it, we're just gonna, if we come across it in a regular game later, well, we can give it another shot, but it's been... It's been a start, an auspicious start, maybe. I hope not. Well, anyway, that'll be it for now. It's a... Yeah, that'll do. Thanks for watching, and see you in another... In the, uh... In the world of our again. Soon, I, I think. Have a good one. Wait a minute. I didn't use the colorized spell. Ugh. Such is life in the zone.